On this week's edition of the program, we take a look at exhibitions, a group show where artists gather together for a cause and a solo show by younger artists. A warm welcome to At House. I'm Melinda Akinlami. I'll give you all those details when we return. I will not accept an inferior position in the art world, nor have my art called African. Dear Nigeria, Dear Friends is a group exhibition by six contemporary artists whose names are really familiar on the art scene, but this time they've come together for a bigger cause, which is to make a difference in their world. This exhibition is a clarion call to those living in the commercial hub and beyond to pay attention to what's happening in the Makoko area, a suburb across the third mainland bridge located on the coast of mainland Lagos. opening of an exhibition of about five or six Nigerian artists and they're giving back to society. They're supported by Life Foundation and you can see some of the, some of the works are going to be sold uh, to give to society and to help the Makoko community where you have a lot of, uh, of children there who can't go to school, who are not very literate. So it's about supporting them, supporting their education and making them useful members of society. And I think that is also a very useful way that art can be used in shaping society very positively. So we're very proud to be part of this exhibition. We're very proud to support the artists and support what they're doing. I think it's very noble. A part of the community is built on stilts along the lagoon and the rest is on the land. The conditions leaves much to be desired, so these artists who have made a name for themselves feel the need to put the spotlight on this area. These are extremely well-known artists. We've got artists like Jerry Unobea, we've got artists like Alex Mokolo, we've got artists like Fidelis Odogu, Abraham Yobosere, and of course George Edozi. These are very well-known artists uh, whose works command staggering uh, amounts on the auctions. They're well exhibited, they're very well-known, and we're very happy that you know, they can actually support you know, society and support uh, the society in such a way that uh, they're providing education for young children who have not. I've always uh, believed in giving whatever we can to the less privileged. It's, that is like redistribution of wealth. And uh, when Life Foundation approached us for the exhibition, I said, why not? I'm believing the proceeds will be used in mentoring some other students who are not from privileged homes and uh, more so when you look around in the society. Personally, I go around in the society and what I see is not what we deserve as a people in Nigeria. So for this exhibition, it's a, a better it came at a better time because uh, we are trying to create a, a solid awareness and to tell the world that we are still searching for a better dawn in this part of the globe. And um, whatever we can, we should always uh, consider the future of the younger ones who are not from privileged homes. It is not easy for the foundation to scoop money from the society, considering how the, the state of uh, the economy is. Individuals will support, but it is, it is difficult really for, for you to call on the same people to come and support every time and walk away. Yeah, but art 
you know, has taken a special place in Nigeria. Nigerians are beginning to respond positively to art. So that is why we decided to use art here once again, so that people can come, buy the art, and then a good proceed of whatever thing that is realized from this exhibition will be used to further the, the adventures in aiding those children in Makoko.